develop these five abilities in your personal development quest. To be the best you can be, produce all you can, far more than you need for yourself and for your family. If that's your philosophy and if that's what you want to do, something extraordinary, it's possible to live an extraordinary life. Here's the challenge, and it's going to be working here this weekend. Number one, develop the ability to absorb, the ability to get everything. I don't know what all you've planned here, but you know, you know, be in every class you possibly can. Just stay as long as you can. We're going to take enough breaks, I think, to make it easy for everybody. We all recognize the mind can only absorb what the seat can endure. So, I want you to know we are mindful of that. But the key is not to be careless in the gathering of knowledge, not to be casual in the ideas that could double your health, triple your income, accelerate your career, secure your fortune, amplify your harvest. So don't be careless in the gathering of ideas. Absorb every one you possibly can. Here's the next ability. Develop the ability to respond. Let life touch you. Let the stories touch you. Let the drama touch you. Twelve months ago, I was in India. I lectured in four major cities in India. That was like my fourth visit to India. Once again, I was touched by the drama of such extremes of poverty and wealth. If I was given the assignment, Mr. Owen, see what you can do with India, I would say, what could I do? What could I do? Where would you start? Let the drama of that affect you. Make you more sober in your reflections about life. And then say a prayer that what you couldn't do by yourself, maybe a collection of people can do, maybe the future will find some answers. A prayer would help. Let life touch you, but don't let it kill you. Let sad things make you sad. Let happy things make you happy. Don't shrug off always the, you know, those times of bitterness that come and sadness that comes and your heart is struck like a bullet, hits it. I'm not saying give in to it. I'm saying let it affect you because that's part of the drama. The old prophet said what? There's a time to laugh and there's a time to cry. And then it said, be so sophisticated that you learn to laugh with those that laugh and also learn to cry with those that cry. Allow yourself to be touched, moved by the drama. Be touched by good ideas. Be touched by opportunity. Be touched by someone's unique little sentence that might cause you to open your eyes to see things you never saw before. Here's the next ability. Develop the ability to reflect. Part of this is in the challenge when you go home, not to just put these notes away, but to get them out maybe fairly often over the next 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, just to review the notes, to drive the ideas a little deeper, uh, to come up with a little more refinement. And if you go back over these notes, I promise you, there is something you will discover that you just didn't have the time to discover while you were taking the notes. Because in taking the notes, you're working as hard as I am. Right? Taking the notes, trying to listen, trying to decide what to write down, how to compose it in a small sentence if I've you know, said a long sentence, how to edit it as you go. That's why review is so important. Go back over it again. Go back over it again. Here's what I call it. Run the tapes again. The tape in your mind and the tape from your notes and see if you can't capture something you might have missed or to develop an extension of something you got now that by going back over it now you can see, now I see. Here's what I could do with that that might multiply the value of my life by two, by three, by five. Here's a good time to reflect when the day is over. How did it go and who did you see and what did you say and what mistakes did you make and what did you leave out that you could correct tomorrow? Reflect at the end of the month. 30 days, that's when you usually do the accounting for your business and the company and the corporation. Do the accounting for your health. If you needed to lose weight, how many, pound, how many pounds have you lost? Just do a good reflective accounting. I'm trying to do a little study now on the value of the seventh day. Here's another thought to consider on the value of the seventh day. It says labor the sixth and the seventh is a special day 
rest, relax, spiritual, church, family, friendships. So jot this down for the seventh day. Multi-purpose seventh day after six days of work. Multi-purpose. And here's one of the purposes of the seventh day, I think, is to review the previous six days. How did it go? Where did you stumble? What did you miss? What should you have thought of that you let pass? Who didn't you see? Just review the last six days. What went right? What went wrong? What's there? What's missing? Then here's what you do. Now plan the next six days. With this information of the last six, plan the next six. I call it multi-purpose seventh day. Reflect, go back over, then design, plan, refine, and deposit the experience of the past six days into the adventure and activity of the next six days. You will be absolutely surprised at the value and the productivity of your weeks if you'll start doing a little more of that. Now here's the last two. Develop now the ability to act. Activity now is the catalyst and the miracle piece of the process. 